Recently, I created a couple of videos about Moon Knight streaming. The latest one was about using it remotely. This is outside your own Wi-Fi through a VPN network created with a free application called Tailscale. It's been a very successful video and many people thank me for it. But a few users tagged that Tailscale wasn't working for them, but the also free Nor VPN mesh net worked on their routers without issues. And I thought it would be useful for people to have both options. So here's a quick video about how to use Nor VPN mesh net with Moonlight and Sunshine. So NordVPN, just like Tailscale, is a service that has some decent paid subscription tiers, but we don't need any of them here, since MeshNet is actually a free option. I'm not going to repeat all the intro about all the port forwarding and such, you can check the previous video if you want to have all the info. Like last time, I'm assuming you already have Moonlight and Sunshine working on your system locally. Feel free to check the video again if that's not the case. Now we need to download the NordVPN app from their website. I know there are a couple of messages that seem to hint you might have to pay, but if you're a bit unsure, just read this from the FAQs. As long as you just use MeshNet and none of the other services from the NordVPN app, then it's 100% free. There's also a nice, if a bit simplified, explanation on the difference between using MeshNet versus using more traditional methods. Next, I will install the app on my desktop PC and then run it. It will prompt you for an account with a valid email. Again. Slightly intrusive, but in exchange, you get way easier setup. After that, we just jump onto the UI and you can safely ignore every section, but the MeshNet won't. Then enable the MeshNet option. If you look at the bottom, you will see the first device connected to the network. Next, I'll jump to my phone, which is currently using 5G, not the Wi-Fi, so I can test remote connection. And I will install the NordVPN app from the Google Play Store. Then I'll sign up with the very same email address that I used on my desktop. No thanks, I don't need pay plans. Jump into the MeshNet section of the app and connect to the MeshNet. As you can see on the desktop side, the second device just appeared in there as part of the network. Make sure to go into the connection settings and enable the necessary permissions so that everything works. Just to make sure you don't confuse things, our devices are not acting as host or client inside the MeshNet. Moonlight and Sunshine do, but inside the MeshNet, we just have devices that share the network. Next, back to our phone and open in Moonlight, it doesn't seem to be working. Well, of course, because now we need the proper IP from the device on the MeshNet. Just go to your app and copy the IP from the desktop PC. They even gave us the nice option to copy it without having to take note. Now, back at Moonlight, just press the button to add the IP address you just copied, and we're good to go. And remember, there's an option in Settings General to choose whether the app launches at startup or not. How easy was that? Quickly testing the latency, it seems to be updating quite fast. Again, people have messaged me with a lot of questions about performance and higher or lower lag. I've been trying to help with general tips, such as adjusting your bitrate or your resolution, but the truth is, it's impossible to help debug other people's networks with the limited info of a YouTube comment. I can tell from the feedback it works for most people straight away, but if you're unlucky with your personal router connection being tricky, you might want to dig around NordVPNs and Moonlight or Sunshine support. Okay, that's all. A short video which hopefully will also help a lot of people. If it does, please click like and subscribe for more content like this. But even if you don't, thanks for watching and enjoy your gaming in a relaxed setting.